any friend, of, any any man that's a friend of Jerry Porter's is a friend of mine. From that time on, we were friends. And he always made me feel welcome. That was one thing, you know. You you weren't you weren't above or beneath in the, in the eyes of Mike O'Neill. You were another human being to be valued. And I don't have to stand here today and talk about and lie to you about a good man because I met him personally. And I can tell you that his family carries on the tradition of just welcoming you into his home, into their homes. Showing always gonna you're gonna get fed if you go to the old hills. <laughs> And if you're hungry, you're going to get fed more ways than just one. You're going to get fed spiritually, physically. You know, and if you're real fortunate, they're going to get in their pocket. They're not afraid to get in their pocket and give to you. You know, Debbie and I got the privilege, as you can see in that video, and Rogers that was there with us that day when they brought. During COVID, you weren't supposed to, we weren't, we weren't even supposed to be allowed. But when, when Mike O'Neill found out that we were there, I said, well, they can't come, you can't come inside to the building. But if you want to, Mike, you can go out and sit in the gazebo. And it wasn't real warm that day. As you can see in the, in the picture there, Mike's all covered up. But he was like, I can go outside. He was already up. Heading for the door. And I guess the, the nurse said, well, I guess he's going outside. And he did, and we had a wonderful time together. And I got to spend, we got to spend the time, you know, with him last couple times we met. And got to be with Michael Dill was in church. With Rodney and Darcy, sitting in the pew. Worshiping his Savior. You know, when I think of uh, Michael Neal, he can actually sing the words of amazing grace. How sweet the sound. The sacred wretch like me. He'd always try to explain, because that happens to you a lot when you're a preacher. People will come up and say, you know, I'm not a saint. I sin a lot. I'd like to be better. I said, well, thank God for Jesus, because he made up the difference. I'm not any better than you are. We're all sinners. Saved by grace. And he understood that grace of God that saved the wretch like him. I once was blind, but now I'm found. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I'm blind, but now I see. It's a new song to me. He said, "'Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, but it was grace my fears relieved that I could come to this awesome God who gave his son for me. With my head bowed and my heart thankful for the blood that was shed for me. And really appreciate God when you walk away from that cross that has saved you. I once was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fear is relieved. Help me out. How oh, what's that? How how precious! Thank you. It's okay to help me. How precious did that grace appear the hour that I first believed. And in this verse, through many dangers, toils and snares, you know, for a while there it seemed like it wasn't fair what the O'Neill family was going through. Terrible times. Loss of loved ones suddenly. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. But give me that, that gospel G again because I know where I'm going. He's going to build it. He's going to build that mansion for me. And one of these days I'm going to live forever. Bring in eternity with this one who gave himself for me. To, you know, when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, with no less days to sing His praise than when we first began. And you know, if you listen real close, 
You can almost hear that familiar fiddle playing in the choir of heaven. You know, in the, in the spirit of Michael Neal lives on in the hearts of each and every one of us that are still living, that atmosphere that he created when you were around him. It was contagious. I'm thankful that God allowed me to live in a time when I could be around and play music with Michael Neal. So be thankful. You know, you never know. You just don't know. But take advantage of all the situations and the destinies that God sets right in front of you. But the very, you never know. You have no idea. You, have, you had no idea, Guy Johnson. Amazing grace